Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another Thursday edition of our live show. Today we're going to focus on simple stamping and the reason I chose 20 cards was... She's ambitious. <laughs> yeah, it was like, you know, these come 20 to a pack and I thought nothing easier than using all note it. cards already. These are the size to mail. So I thought, well, there's 20 cards. We really should have 20 ideas. I'm not sure I made it to 20. I'm not, uh, I lost track of counting, but I was working up to the last minute. <laughs> because of course, you know, I can't just show 20 variations of one card. I mean, I we're fitting in a lot of techniques and other fun things. So we'll see who's here today. Yes, if I can figure this and, out. And while Tim's working on that, I have a couple of last minute mail items to take care of. How sad is this? This is what we got in the mail. Um, it came very late from Vanessa Human, and I thought, I still had to, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to show just how badly, I mean, talk about torn, totally torn. I'm not quite even sure how that happens, um, but we're going to pretend it's in one piece. <laughs> you know, it just becomes a card with a story. So like a lot of other things in life. Whoa, I'm knocking down my cards. Well, I can guarantee you we won't get to 20 if I'm knocking down my cards. Oh, good. We do have people here. Karen, thank you for sharing. Donna, Gillen, Renee, Julie, Melissa. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you, <laughs> Vanessa. I'm so glad to get that. Love the nativity set. And isn't that, see, there just is a story, but a great card. Thank you so much. <laughs> straight, straight down from the North Star. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the tear was just right in the middle. Thank you. And I have a couple of others. So, you know, it's still Christmas at our house because um, uh, it could be that they came late or it could be that Karen was cleaning and found them in the stack. So, or... you know, we're, we're not going there. So. <laughs> oh, and this isn't. Oh, is this ever pretty? This is from Sheila Logan. Isn't that gorgeous how she did that paper? I remember this paper. It is, and she just basically, I think, sponged over it. That is just really an awesome look. Very fun. Ooh, Cindy's sitting in the dental office waiting for a root canal. Ooh. Ooh. I, yeah, I think I have one of those coming up. They're not very fun, so we'll, we'll be thinking of you. But we're glad to help you pass some time. And a Christmas card. Love, memories, and more. And these are Leona Dunsmore. And, you know, these come in all kinds of different things. We'll be showing a lot more of, because um, this was a Christmas set. Talk about quick and easy cards, and that is just adorable. Is that stamped? Cute as can be. Come, no, it comes that way. It comes that way. Isn't that just sweet as can be? And then the last thing, have a calendar. Hi, Pam, Sharon, Kathy, and a whole bunch of you are sharing. That's wonderful. Chrissy Lane. Um, Mitzi Taylor came by the other day and said she finally got her calendars done. She does calendars every year. And, uh, uh, you know, calendars are always a great idea. And then she just puts in a few stamps. And I wanted to, so this is kind of a trip down memory lane because I thought, anyone remember these? Because they're not all Stampin' Up, but I thought I'd point up, out the Stampin' Up ones and see who still might have these. And you know, for how she does the calendars, those long ones are just perfect. These snowmen. Oh, oh, it's a Kathy. It's like spring in Oregon or in Colorado, wherever you are today. I don't know where you are. Um, doesn't feel like spring here, but it's going to get back into the 30s. So we're not complaining. Oh, all these long ones. I really like long stamps. I just kind of forget about things, but they're really fun too. Oh, all of you for sharing. I appreciate that. And these dresses. Oh, this really is a trip down memory lane. And... Keys. Keys, I, I, I don't remember that one, so I'm not thinking oh. that was ours. I'm just looking for the ones that... Uh, ah, that train might have been ours. See, I just don't remember time gets so far. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> but such a cute idea. Oh, the teapots. Remember the teapots? Teapots have, have always been a fun thing to do. So thank you very much. And I think we're ready to get on. Hi, Cheryl, Vicki, Rebecca. Oh, some of you. Some of you have the snowmen. Yeah, and that is a, another cute gift idea. So it's always fun to think of ideas. So are we ready? But I think oh, with, when you're doing 20 cards, I think we have extra time to just chit-chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might stretch that. And, and you know I'm not going to be getting to end on the cards. But um, <laughs> Angie made a calendar into a birthday calendar. Now, that is a great idea. Some people always have that. 
one of the, you know, kind of those forever. That is a great idea. And then to make the tops pretty, just love it. Oh, stamps by Judith is that wrap? That's great. Love that wrap. That's great. <laughs> Kathy has the teapots and snowman. So that's all fun. And the dresses, I thought this is really fun. Okay. We will get started. Well, I think there is nothing like celebration to think about um, any extra little goodies. Do you know, I think last week I forgot to even have a drawing. Today, the drawing is going to be for um, a set of these note cards and envelopes, of course, and a few of the cards, not 20, but a few that I make doubles of, because I'm not making doubles of all these, but the extra ones I'll throw in. So it just has some ideas, uh, and that is just for commenting. So it is all good. Yeah, we could, uh, trains are always popular. I love trains too, so it's just kind of fun to see. So, and, mm -hmm. and Karen said that she thought her limit was 19 cards, so she wants me to do one. Oh, oh Tim is definitely doing one. Oh, yes, <laughs> he, he's doing one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and you know, the note cards are kind of a sleeper item, but the, the other thing I think about these is if you're going on vacation or something, it's fun to have, or for somebody new, or, and I'm just show, gonna show so many ideas today, because I know a lot of people don't want to own a whole lot of things, but you know, you can keep some cards and just some scraps and then whatever stamp sets you like. So this would be a bunch of ideas that you can use to just decorate your white envelopes. So they are an awesome deal. Uh, Rebecca has a question about paper pumpkin. You know, right now, if you buy a year's, a whole year of paper pumpkin, you get, I don't know how many celebration sets because I don't remember how much it costs. So you always weigh that yourself, whether you'd rather just keep on with the monthly subscription, which just stands alone, or if you want to do a bigger thing and get some celebration. You know, celebration is just awesome. So, oh, Linda, I'm thrilled. She's coming to the her first event with me on Saturday. This Saturday, five blocks from my house, I rent at church. And so we're doing our card extravaganza. And several of you have bought the kits. So, you know, you can participate even if you don't come. But I'm looking forward to, to having you there, Linda. That will be very fun. And uh, and uh, so we'll get started and we can just chat about other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. This will tell us how many, no, because a few of them I already started, so okay. So this is, I think, um, I also think, you know, I mentioned like as gifts or if you have um, grandkids or, you know, sir, you could package this kind of a thing with a couple of punches. You know, you could make a really fun gift out of something with enough things for somebody to do. Just get a couple of ink pads and a set of stamps and you can just do a lot of things. Oh, you get four celebrations. Thank you, Barb. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it. If you get a one year paper pumpkin. So that is not a bad deal. Um, to stretch your money that way. Um, so it is It is just all, all good. Um, so we'll figure it out. The, the kits for Saturday, uh, we make 10 totally different cards. The kits to be mailed, including postage, is 35. You get photos. I send you the photos of the cards, but you don't get PDFs. So this is for those that can be a little imaginative. But, you know, they're great layouts and probably... Close to half of the cards, I do all the big shot for you. You know, on Saturday, people do their own big shot. I will do all that for you. So a lot of them just stand alone. You just add words and the others. They're just cute layouts. So I know that people have liked them. So it's it's a good thing. So I'll, I'll put that up. I've never made um, a big deal about that. But we have some... The other, I guess in the back porch stampers it probably was, I showed some of the cards that we were gonna be making. That's my customer group. So any of you that ever buy anything from me, make sure you request to join the back porch stampers. Uh, and I think we'll get started. Yes, Rebecca, I would tell her to reorder now too. Now, uh, that's a good idea. Okay, one of the things that I think is kind of funny about these, you know, sometimes we get a little critical about our own cutting and scoring. You know, I don't know if you do and I think, it is kind of odd because these aren't perfectly, these are machine done and they're not, you know, 100%. So you can put that down, Tim. When I fold these, I like to close up the ends like that anyway, just like how we do it anyway. And then take Tim's bone folder. Yes. And, and kind of rescore it. And it helps because it's already going along the score line. So I'm not, not making, I'm just kind of nudging it so that it's going to be perfect when it's done. Oh, Terry, that's fabulous. She's coming Saturday with two friends. Oh, I'm thrilled. And any of you, 
that are long distance. If you're ever coming to the cities, you know, I'll put it around my thing, which does remind me, if you saw the video that I did yesterday, I did a short video just talking about that um, for anyone who wants to buy the kit through me. When Stampin' Up! is coming to town on April 13th, I'm taking a Friday to just spoil my downline. It's really fun. I'm renting the same church and I'm providing lunch. I'm doing everything. We're going to do nine projects and it's free. It's free to my downline. So it's a great plus for joining. And if you join and you don't live close or can't come, I mail you the nine things and we're going to do a Facebook Live together. So it's all good. It's just my extra. I just thought since Stampin' Up! was coming here this year, close to where I live, it would be just a fun time an opportunity to just kind of spoil my downline. The reason I put that video out was because um, registration for that opens next Tuesday and they will fill up. So that's why I thought, ooh, I can't like just talk about that for two months. It's like right now. Um, I, I like storing my little things. Do you guys remember this? This was from before and this makes a really pretty box that had all this stuff in it. But I like keeping all my, um, this is gonna be for all my open things and little boxes. So the first thing I wanted to show was... Can I, can I just ask for clarification? Yeah. What do you say about it filling up? What is... The onstage from Stampin' Up! The in, last time it came to Minneapolis, yeah. it filled up. They have them around the country. Some of them fill up quickly. Now, that's just for demonstrators. demonstrators. But okay. when it fills up, you can't become a demonstrator and still go. That's what I'm trying to say. So this isn't something you can wait till March and then think, oh yeah, I want to go to that because... I just can't imagine Minneapolis will be open. We really fill up here. You can still come to the Friday thing, but you know I wanted to make it more worth coming to for people that are traveling. I thought you come, and it's a one-day thing that they do, but I thought, you know, by making it a two-day thing, and then we can help give you suggestions for hotels. And So I just want you to think about it because it will be fun, and it will be a very casual, um, fun day because you know I want us to get to know each other, make some things, talk about stuff. Yes, I will, Rebecca, so that's just wait. <laughs> Chris, I'd love to have you come and be spoiled. No, the Stampin' Up! Um, uh, thing for uh, the onstage is just for demonstrators. So that's why if it sounds really fun, it is worth getting uh, the kit <laughs> and then going. So, you know, just think about that. And you know I don't care. for This is for anybody what you want to do with the kit. I always want you back as a customer if you, you know, don't make your minimums and want to do any more. It's perfectly, you know, nothing matters. So I love talking to, I love talking to you because we never know. We're women. Our lives keep changing and we love it. We go with the flow. So this is the little cake and I just put the thing inside. So I just stamped this and I think that's just really cute on a, on a plain little thing. Now I could put the words here stamped up too. We're talking about possibilities today. But one quick and fun way of just uh, making something like this pretty is, uh, and if I had a, Tim, do you want to, oh, here, here's one. I thought I had one out here. I'm mm -hmm. just going to use, you know, just little things like this add so much to a, to a card. Okay, I'm gonna get the, let's get the purple one here. And let's do a little flower down here. I'm gonna do a, uh, uh, let's see, you could put it right in there. I'm gonna, I don't know, see, I, I'm just playing. But I just like how this uh, is just one way to make your cards. Whoa, that wasn't a good one. Let's take that off. I think it was just the under part. <laughs> Something else that isn't going to stick. And I'm just going to randomly put some things on. But it's just a fun way to, and since you're supposed to go with odd numbers, let's, and I think this is a little overkill. You could make the big dipper maybe. Do you know what? To me, it's overkill. I don't like overkill. Let's see if I can remove it. Nah, we'll go with overkill. Overkill's a fine thing today. Um, if it's going to a young child, it's, you know, the, the more the better. And you know, you could give things like this and you could just decorate it and do whatever you want. But I think it just adds. So if you're, that's one of the things we're gonna talk about today, how you can easily stamp on these. You can leave it as done, but here's a way to add. And I am going to have Tim it adds take away. To a degree and then it detracts. It will know when to stop. I have a, somebody said that to me once. If I just knew, you know, when I'm adding embellishments, if I just knew when to quit, I kind of go one step too far and then you take it back. But 
<laughs> but it's all good. Yeah, I mean, yes, you all should do it. If you're sitting on the fence about the thing, you know, $99 for $175 worth of things you want is, you know, I mean, that's, that is an amazing thing. So, of course, I have to start with a couple really simple things. So we've got to do the, got to so, do the cat punch. What do you mean you, you didn't start with this one? Yeah, so. and that was simple. Oh, oh, that's right. Still, I don't know. Still I'm still playing. starting. Yeah. 20 is a long yeah, way to go is. to Tim. Okay, so this time, I'm going to make, hi, Velka from Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, less is more. Sometimes it's true, but you know, the thing about cards are it's all temporary and fun, so it's kind of whatever. So here's my base, and again, I could be putting anything on it. I'm going to take the new little hearts. I colored some of them red with the blends, the red, the red blend. You can use blends or you could use Sharpies. Putting my little heart, and this is my heartfelt thanks card. That's what I would put inside. Heartfelt thanks for whatever that thing is that you did. And of course, this could be any paper, but how quick is that? And let's see, we'll give a little attention to the dog too, except I don't see where it is. So that's okay. We'll just go with whatever we can find here. Now we're going to go with the let it ride and I'm not using the horses today I love the horses I, and I will definitely be doing things with that I have to dump things on the floor here um, today I was just looking for quick little ideas we could share yeah that little heart just kind of adds and you know did you see how easy that was I mean there's absolutely nothing to this and then this is another I'm using tranquil tide and I love I love the horses on this and I love you know um, let it ride, take life by the reins, live as if someone left the gate open, go for it. I love the sayings in here. But I also love little nature things, so that's all I'm going to use right here. You know, there's a real trend towards, I mean, it has been for quite a while, towards uh, simpler cards. And even a lot of the ones in the store that are pre-done, if you notice, there are a lot of things that have a lot of white space. And they're just, oh, and they're just very classy. Um... So with this, I am just stamping that, and then I'm going to take my blender pen and go over it and blend out the colors. And so it just kind of smears into the background. But isn't that pretty? And it just gives a little different look. Now I will take this and just do that, and there's no color in it. So now I can put this in any color again. And you'll see on a lot of these, uh, there's plenty of room for words. I'm just not adding the words kind of for the sake of time. And then I'm going to take these. These cards are a little bit smaller. These are the smallest size that are still can go in the mail with the stamp. So I don't know what you call them, but they are mailable. It is the smallest size. And then I'm going to take, and I know you can't really see this so much online, but I'm going to go over the trees themselves. And I think a card like this would make, you know, some great sympathy cards to just have on hand. I just find we always need some things like that or... It's kind of an any occasion card. So that that has color in it. This is no. This is just kind of a glitter thing, kind of going on top. So it makes it shiny. You aren't going to see it on there, but you do see it, see it in person. And I just use Tranquil Tide. I love that color for backgrounds, and I love the color it kind of fades out into. Um, <laughs> Rebecca says making the cards are easier compared to opening the ink pads. We should open 20 of those maybe in five minutes or something. So, <laughs> But again, it's just a little bit different look and really just a very nice, those would make great thank you cards. And, you know, if you do some for a, a guy, say, for instance, who wants to send some out, sometimes they want something that's just, you know, kind of classy. I'm going to grab here from kind of anywhere. Next, we're going to use Lovely Lattice. And guess what? We're up to number four. Oh, ooh, Tim is counting. Hmm. <laughs> and I just stamped this on, on here, and it is just black and white. Now, I could leave it, and then I just took out my little, uh, little happy birthday thing. This would be just a cute little birthday card. I could put this anywhere, anywhere, or I could add a little color. So now I'll do this, and I'm only going to add the color in the middle. So it's just going to be... 
a little bit of color. You, oh, um, pink and gray, yellow and black, red and black, kind of black or gray with one accent color is always a stylish look. So, you know, it can be fun to color without coloring in everything. It doesn't need to be tedious. So there's a little bit. And since I added that, just put my, let's see, we're just using punches. So we're using nothing with the Big Shot today. And I use the Big Shot tons. But I also just wanted to show you don't have to have it. And I think I got that a little messy. I'll clean that off afterwards. And then I thought since I added the yellow, I would just add a little gold. So I have dressed that up a bit. But it also would have been fine in just black and white. Oh, the white pen. This is, thanks for asking. This is Wink of Stella. I called it Stink of Wella once, and no one lets me forget that, so now I have to think about it. But it's Wink of Stella. And we sell it, and it's just clear, and it adds some shimmer and shine to things. It's awesome. It's, it's a great little thing. <laughs> Janine or Carol says, it's <laughs> making me want to buy all of these. Well, you know, somebody said that in the thing. I said, yes, that's my ulterior no motive. <laughs> but really what I wanted to show was kind of any stamp set's going to work on these little cards, you know. So it's kind of, um, and just notice how quick these all are. So here's another one. We're doing a really fun rooster card on Saturday. So today I am doing... I thought we would do, this time we're going to use Mossy Metal. You'll notice I'm using a lot of different inks, too, because I didn't want to keep searching up here. So I'm looking for what stamps that haven't I used and what inks haven't I used. So maybe you will open 20 of those. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rebecca, I'm with you. She says she stamps cards, and then at night she colors them in, in front of the, the TV. And I, in front of the tube, well, maybe she's watching YouTube, but... But I, I do the same thing. I like to color at night. I even assemble. I often assemble with glue dots. <laughs> and I love doing whatever I can at night because I can't just watch TV. So now on this one, okay, I guess I already have one done here. I'm going to do for a background in this one, I'm going to take So Saffron. And I didn't use the Stamparatus on any of these today, and I will say normally I do, and even with these, if I were making a bunch, I would, um, but since I was just trying to do no extra stuff and saying, you know, good enough is good enough, these are just kind of meant to be that way, I, you know, on a single layer card like this, you're not going to want to get it really wet necessarily with watercolor, but I just love, I'm going to just scribble my own background there. So there is just a scribbled background. And then I'm going to take Mossy Meadow. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put this on. How cool is that? And now, of course, I can put words. I can make this whatever I want it to be. I can add some things. This is kind of like the basic part. But um, I think that's just really a fun card. These are just the Stampin' Up! note cards. Yep. Yep, and they're, uh, somebody can even look up the price, but you get 25 of them, so it's a great deal. 20 or 25? Oh, 20, 20. <laughs> See, I better watch what I'm saying. Yes, you better. And I'm going to take a little commercial break here because mm. I'm going to show you what they fit into cute. <laughs> I just thought of that. I thought I'm going to show this because I know some of you got the note card holders I sent to all my customers in December, which is really fun to do. That's an annual thing I do. I'm doing an online stamping extravaganza in uh, a retreat we're calling it in two weekends so there is still time to participate we are focused on um we're going to do four cards with the birthday uh set with uh you know, you'll find all the information on the thing and then there's four sessions during it and then another one we're going to do four with the butterfly set another one's going to be four oh six quick cut cards and then there's going to be another session with two gifts this is one of the gifts we're going to be making Look what is perfect for holding these cards and envelopes. So if you want to give them as a gift. So how cool is that? So a little advertisement. This is one of the things we'll be making for that. And you'll notice we're using butterfly paper because it's all butterflies and birthdays, we're calling it. It is $60 plus shipping to get all of the materials to make everything. But anyway, I'll, I'll put a link on here. There's three different ways you can buy it. And of course, we will have tons of drawings because I love to do that and a lot of fun. Are you done with the rooster? I'm done with the rooster. 
And, okay, now we're up to the dog. Rebecca's all signed up, so that's great. Okay, so here we have a dog, a dog again, so I just put the dog on. And I wanted to make this one a birthday card, so I thought, why not the birthday balloons punch? So you can see a lot of these are ideas. I just, I didn't even complete them. I just thought, oh yeah, let's go for this. Use oh yes, it is a good idea, Tim. It is a good idea. So I could do one balloon, two balloons. I'm just gonna do one balloon here. Okay, and I'm going to just make a little squiggly line there. And then we're gonna put a little balloon up. And how fun is that? Now we have a little birthday card with the, with the, yes, these come in whisper white and in very vanilla. So, so just very fun. So, I mean, these aren't anything fancy, but they're fun. They'll do the, um, they'll do what you need them to do. Now, if you have kids that are gonna make Valentine's, these would be a great way to make Valentine's. And I guess I should have gone through and Got a bunch of these ahead of time. Um, this is such a cute set, this Hey Love. We've got all kinds of cute little animals. So this time I just put on my block and when two fit together, it's perfect. It just makes it easier for stamping. I'm ape over you. <laughs> Becca, great. I'm glad you guys are enjoying some quick cards. I think sometimes we get into showing so many samples and I thought this was good for me to just sit and think about okay what can I make because you know we tend to <laughs> like layers and I still like layers but it's fun to look at this we like all kinds I'm going to just stamp this and of course this would be adorable if the white cut down and put on red so you can do you can think of all the added extra things I'm just going for really basic and now I am going to only color in the heart. Ooh, and what I should have shown, but I don't have a brown marker. You know, you can also take like a little gray or whatever and just kind of go around the outsides. I'll show that sometime. And again, not color the whole side, the whole inside in. I'll have to show that because there's so many ways you can color. So you don't have to look at this and think, oh, that would be just a ton of coloring. So now if kids were making this, they would just have fun then putting a bunch of hearts all over the place. This you can go wild. So how cute is that? <laughs> and you could color him in or not color him in. You could make all the different cute little animals and make them different. I, every year, I go over to the church and we do Valentine's one morning and I always bring a set for people to make for the kids and we'll definitely do something on this order with that and color it in, but I just think that's... That's really fun. Can you focus the camera? The problem is we can't. It is Facebook I can, Live. I can, can try. you try? Well, I can try. You can what try other, you know, sometimes it's focused and sometimes it's not. You know, try that again. Yep. We'll see if that helps. It is such a problem. And sometimes the replays turn out clear and sometimes they don't. And it's generally a Facebook thing because we're not really doing anything. Um, I'll do one more. And then I'll, I'll do two more and then I'll let Tim do his. Okay, so here we're going to do another one. This is the, I thought I was doing pretty good here to uh, remember to bring out all the stamp sets. Because <laughs> you see, we're just previewing a lot of the new ones. <laughs> and I, I like this. Sweetest thing, this is just really cute. So I've stamped my little thing here. And then I've also stamped on the inside, I put that make it a sweet celebration. And it comes, there, there are all these cute little things. You know, anyone that gets the kit this month is getting cookies from Tim. Yes. And they're actually, the first batch will be going out either this weekend or Monday. We have to kind of figure that out. And just so you know, those of you that signed up, you will be getting them. Um, and he's putting these little tags on them. And I just, these are so cute. They have these little little pins. Oh, here, I can show you how this works because I'm actually going to put it. It is just like a little pin and I'm going to pin it right onto this little ribbon here. Without hurting yourself. 
Yeah, fine motor skills in front of the camera. And then I am going to attach that. And how cute that is. So here I'm just adding something else. The next class in church I'm doing February and March. So I'll put the dates out as soon as... Actually, Tim, you could go look for the dates because I bet you have them. They're I just don't phone. have them handy. Oh, they're on his phone and we're using phone. <laughs> so I will put them out. Okay. Okay. But it is middle. It is in the middle, I know. Um, okay, I'll give you that. Oh, I'll do one more because then, Tim, you'll have a cleaner space. Okay, so you're okay. doing number 10. I will be doing number 11. Oh, it's a little nerve-wracking, but he's actually doing this. Okay, so here's my card for this oh, one. Gotta keep track. I know, I know, I know we do. Because I know somebody will be. Sounds good, might, Ladora. Might as well be me. Okay, this is just plain paper. Think of all the pretty papers that would just make a fun, fun little card. Here, I'm leaving it black and white. Again, I love this paper. Here is the same thing. You know, they're all going to be different. I like black and white better. And this is with color. So it's all whatever you want to do. And I think that is just such a fun... Yeah, I, I really do like the black and white. There's just something about black and white. Now, you could also edge this with a piece of black. You know, there's a lot of possibilities that ke still keep it simple. But I'm going for the real basics here today. But I think those are fun. Connie, that's great. She's coming too with a new friend. Oh, this is fun. And I know a lot of you that live far away will be there in spirit. So see, it's all good. And now there are ways to join us. Okay, uh, let's see. It's Tim's turn. It is Tim's turn. I, I better I better give up here and you want to just let Tim get on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, don't go anywhere because you have to get I have to get your stuff to you. Yes, you do. Hi, y'all. Um... Wearing a scarf that I bought in Phuket, Thailand, two years ago. And staying warm. I don't have a hat on today. I wore a hat all morning and a vest, but I decided to dress up for the show. So <laughs> I was actually wearing a raggedy, raggedy sweatshirt and my Zubas and my orange Crocs. So this is, this is an improvement. <laughs> And you might not know this, but I still have my orange Crocs on. So, okay. Ready? I'm ready. Let's let's watch this while we do Tim Titus. Whoops. We'll just leave that there. All right. Um, this is one of those pieces of papers. And we are going to do with a stamp set called... Geared Up Garage. Karen knows that I'm such a car guy. <laughs> I, I spend a lot of time in the garage. We actually have a garage that has a, a stove in it, a, like a, a wood-burning stove, because the guy that originally owned this house loved to work in the garage. And, and it's oversized. It's a two-plus. Yeah, it extends it back is. in to work on cars, so it's great. So anyway, I, I, Good could, storage I, could, do, I could do a lot <laughs> out there. So I'm going to uh, do this. Oh, open this up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, but I need ink too. So what kind of ink am I using? Pacific Point. Pacific Point. Is there a point to that? I'll clear, clear okay. some space here. Thank you. Man, this is weird because this is such a huge... And notice again how there's two stamps on the block. It just makes it go... Much faster. It's kind of like your own little, um, what do you call that little machine? <gasps> oh no, I made a mess. Okay. I'll hold this flat. Will you? Because Tim you. really wants to do it your direction. He's just so thoughtful. And he wants to get it done in one try. So we'll see here. <gasps> Beautiful. Good. That's good. Except that. I mean, that's it. okay. That's and just Karen so actually bad. told me to be careful with blue because it really spread the. Oh no! Look, it did. I didn't even know I got it in my fingers, but I did. Okay. Now this is the best part. This is the best part. I this I came up with this myself. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, Rebecca, did you watch that? <laughs> okay, Smoky Slate. Oh, camera needs to be adjusted to see better. Uh, is this better? 
Oh, camera's fine. No, it's Facebook. Yeah, it is. Facebook is just... Okay, let's do this. Nothing more we can do. We don't need to be looking down at my scarf. Okay. Now, Smoky Slate. Let's see if I can close this without destroying something. Why do you want to close it? I don't know. When you haven't used it? Just curious. Oh, but, oh. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> just to prove you could. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is so fun. Now, if you ever owned an old car, you're probably familiar with this. <laughs> Blowing smoke, <laughs> burning oil, and this is a beautiful car, but all of these beautiful old cars take a lot of work, and one thing that they do is they burn oil, and... Um, We've had a few. And this is such a great card because I don't know why did, why did they have this little cloud of smoke? Is that first? Well, it could be people think it might be an oil spill. And it's oil, a garage, okay. but it could be everything. It yeah, could be, oil spill. We can use it for all kinds of things. Yep. Now, you're a classic, and it is a classic, but it burns oil. Was I going to do something mm -hmm. else with it? You can add it? a little color to it with the... Oh, that's right. It really is a blue car, you know. Okay, descend. And that is a blender pen. And just see how it pulls out the color from the ink? Now this won't work for many permanent inks and all colors work differently. Some work better than others, but it's a really fun way to just add some little It's magic. Details into, yeah, it is kind of like those <laughs> magic so, coloring. So, <laughs> so do you believe in magic? Mm -hmm. The love and spoonfuls. Okay, Renee said she used it for an oil spill. So yeah, so it's it's just kind of good for whatever whatever you want to do. But isn't that cool how it really does isn't turn it, cool? it into a blue car? And? And even the middle part where you don't see the lines, Tim, just show that once because it, it just will add that and it turns everything into blue. It'll still pull, pull what do you want me to do? Even these where it's white, just go over that and you see how it's just Whoa. lighter, but it still pulls in from the side. So it's just pretty awesome how it will do that. See, this is becoming much more elaborate. Okay. I wasn't thinking about painting the whole car. But I think that's a great card and an easy one, easy birthday card for a guy to have ready. Or to do at the last minute. Maybe this is for when we really aren't ready. <laughs> I, could, I could give that to my mechanic. Okay, we better. <laughs> should, we, should we send that to Ben? Yeah. <laughs> Kathy, should we send it to Ben? <laughs> Um, one of the ladies that's on this thing, her, her son is a, a mechanic, so. Okay, I'm not going to move the camera. No, Karen's just no, going to sit down. I'm just going to slide right in. Number 11. We're going to go to number 12 now. Okay, uh, th that makes me think I don't have enough done. So, okay, this time we are using... Yeah, so we use the blender pen twice. That's a really good idea, Rebecca. That you know, with the trees, we use the blender pen, and then with the car, we used it again. So, you know, all these tools have kind of a fun, a fun thing. Vicky Jones says, "Wow, Tim, she loved that. Her brother would love that. So oh, that's good. great." Yeah, and then to clean the blender pen, you just rub it on the water. So I said, you know, I'll clean it before I use it next. That's how it'll be. So <laughs> yeah, because everybody's telling Tim to clean the I tip. We haven't gotten that far, but you know, we're not too. Far. Okay, so our next one is Bloom by Bloom, and now you could make you could make a dozen cards out of this set all different. So, you know, I mean, I'm just doing one quick thing. I just did some random stamping. When I do random stamping like this, I always start with the largest, and then you just kind of are filling in smaller and smaller. And you see a lot of cards that are like this. I think that's really pretty. Now, you could add words on it, but it doesn't need it. What I really wanted to show with this is an easy way to decorate the envelopes and I don't usually I mean I'm not decorating all the rest you know you can always put a little stamp or something from your set on it too but this is such a cool way I love doing this you see I'm just putting my paper back under here and then I'm just stamping the top and to save time I did the largest ones first and now I will Fill in with the next size. Uh, I really should have my, I don't have my 
I've had under here, but that's okay. I think it's going okay. Just be, I'll just be very careful. Okay, and then I will add the yellow. So I have daffodils, so I'm just using bright colors. But I think in that little gift pack I told you of cards, it'd be really cute to do four different ones out of a style like this and then wrap it in paper from the, you know, there's just so many things you can do. You just start thinking about it and it's always so fun. Wow. These are centers of the flowers. And then this one is just gonna be my fill-in. Oh. I often use black for a fill-in. Today I'm just using this color because I, so this will just kind of fill in anywhere where it kind of needs it. Now what I'm adding about is from a distance, it didn't even look like there was a color in this. The yellow was not even showing up, but when you get over it. When you it get does, over it, yeah, then you can. See, and look, when you pull it out, isn't that just striking? And this just makes a beautiful card. So this is an easy way to add to your cards, especially when you're using this. So I just thought that was too fun. <laughs> okay, so that is that one. Yep. Okay, okay. Ooh, here's another really quick one. Okay, we're gonna do another of these. I know as our fingers get messy, I don't wanna be holding into a lot of these, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna put this on. We haven't lost anyone yet. This one is going longer than usual, but I thought it might, but I thought I just would be, it still won't go too long because we're doing pretty good here. Okay, put this on quick, really quick one. Let's go for another really quick one. Okay, so I'm taking my butterfly punch. And I am just putting it in there and I am just punching. Okay, and now I am going to put some of this blue behind here. Love this gingham, just love it. And of course it could be any, anything. I'm gonna come inside and put this where it will still look nice on that part. I am going to add, ooh, I think I gave you my little poker. That's okay. I think you did. No, I mean, in, it's in one of the stacks, so I think it's long gone. So we're gonna just, that's okay, I'm doing it with, I'm doing it not very well, but I'm, I'm doing it. We're good. <laughs> we're good. I'm just gonna try to add this. And one right there. And I'm going to add, I had some ribbon floating around. Um, you probably gave that to me too. <laughs> yeah, I blame you for everything. I had the blue and white check ribbon here. That's gonna go on the finished. I'm just gonna do a little um, ribbon and tie here. Is it on the floor? Yes, it is. <laughs> See, I knew what was here. But again, how easy is this? And it could be for anything. You can tell I've been doing uh, ribbon shares. I've got, these are um, all the ones that are the ends left over. Because when I, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna add that on and cut this. That bow wasn't very good. I will redo that, but it is, but I will do that. Um, and I'm going to leave it long because I'm going to redo that bow. I did that in too much of a hurry. But how cute is that? And when you open it inside, it's still cute because you've got the whole side there. So just really, um, really for some quick cards. Now let's go on. Okay, next we'll do, <laughs> I am <laughs> speeding along here. She also says, she's glad it's longer to spend more time with us, so that's great. <laughs> and Jewel, you have no idea, we're not finishing up yet. She, says she got I here just in time, but this. I think we're up to number 15 if I'm coming. This is so cool because it goes with the other set we already have and the punch with the vases. So anytime we can get double duty out of something, um, I think that is awesome. So what I already did with this card was I stamped these two. So I have the top part and I cut out my punch, okay? And what I wanted to show here is one of the things I often like to do is just to use washi tape as kind of a grounding thing. So it could be a shelf, a table, a ledge. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and Put this on where I want it, but I'll leave the bottom loose and I'm going to, yeah, I think I want it like right around there. Add that. 
and cut this off. And voila, you got a, a pretty little vase on a little table. <laughs> so a lot of things you can do with that idea. Next, I've taken just some leftover paper. So again, I'm not using any of the framelits. This is the So Hoppy Together. We have to do this one. This is a simple card layout that I have used many times. So I think some of you will recognize this probably from cards that we've gotten. So in a package of 20, how many do you think are not perfectly scored? I have no idea, but it's nice to know that you can fix them. And you see, you know, when you color with blends, which is my favorite way to color, you aren't going to want to do it directly on this cardstock anyway, unless you don't mind. I personally wouldn't mind opening card and seeing that. I know some people don't like that. So if I'm using blends, I like to put it on another, another layer. But what, what I'm going to do with this that I think is just really fun, these are just some punch circles. And I think they make some great little background things. I'm gonna put it that way, so I'm just having three colors off of that. And now when I add this, I'd love to do this now with the stitched rectangles, but I think this is really cute. It just gives a, a, different, a different look on the side with these. So, um, uh, and that one's not too straight, but you know, I can fix it or not before I take a picture. I will put these up on my blog tomorrow. So, um, cause this will just be, you know, Tim taking pictures and then, then it'll, it will be good. Okay. So here is, here, let's grab this one over here. This is another technique I have done. Some of you will remember several times, um, but again, to just show how all of these techniques work on these little cards, too. <laughs> okay, so here I am going to do what we call, what I call streaking. I don't know what else. I'm going to take my uh, balmy blue. Don't you think I'm doing a good job of not reusing the same colors? <laughs> and I never care if things extend over to the back of my card. So I'm going to just make a little, a little like... A little lake things here. Ah, oh, see, I'll go sideways. See, that's all good. Okay, so there's my lake. And then I'm coming in with crumb cake, and I guess it's easier. They're all a little different. I'm gonna go this way, and this is gonna be my sand. And then from there, I am taking beach happy, and I'm just building a little beach scene. And see, I got a little smudge up there too, but I wasn't going to redo it. But we've got our sand and our lake. Relax. You deserve it. Really cute. Really cute set. <laughs> Her moan's so scared it's going streaking. Yeah. Yes. Yes, the same ideas we could do with regular size cards too. Yes. The only reason I'm using these little ones is that they come in a pre-done pack. So that makes it easy for people that might not want to always... I chose not to comment on that, but, but I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. No, Tim, I said you can't comment. <laughs> okay, this time I am using this one, Incredible Like You. And I did want to point out that other card where I did flowers all over, this one would be very similar. You could make all kinds of similar but different cards. So, But to do things differently here, we're going to do the... Uh, fading out technique if I have sea foam. Hmm, maybe we mm. won't. Um, would you. What is sea foam? Sea foam is a color of green that could be on the table out there. Oh, it's a, it's it's a, a stamp. It's, it's a, a stamp. stamp pad. Okay. While he's doing that, I will do something else. We will go on to. Yeah, we're getting close now. Now we're going to go on to Needlepoint Nook. Oh, I was doing so good up until the end when I forget. Uh, anyone who needs the catalog, just message me your address so I can put it in the mail. Um, and I, what I want to say about Needlepoint Nook, it has gorgeous paper and it's got all these needlepoint things with it. I forgot the stamp set on the table too and I won't make Tim look for that. So you can see I have just put a bunch of them right in a row on here to use because that's going to be my background. 
you know, when I do the retreat and when I do my classes, you know, what I love about doing things like that is we, people come on and share what they're doing too. So it's just fun to see what other people do. So my online retreat will be like that. And my new class starts Monday night too, and that's going to be a really fun one. All on uh, pocket cards. So I'll put links to all these things. So check out. And my online classes are always free to my downline. And so is my weekend retreat if they have their own papers and want to cut their own papers. So um, access to it is always free. So, uh, But I just want to show how fun this was. So here I am using, and I think I'll use this just in case, and I'm knocking things off. By just putting this on, I'm using Blushing Bride because I just wanted this to be a very soft... A very soft look but I thought isn't that pretty it could be done just that way I love that little all the little stitching look with it and then what I wanted to show was how I'll show it here these flowers and other stamps in it are you you see I don't know is that cruel stitching does anyone know no I, I don't even know but you want to see the stitching lines Sometimes people ink it up so much that it just becomes a blur and it's a solid flower. Well, then it's just a different look. But to do it like, um, so I'm going to show you. So sometimes if it is too blurry once you've inked something, stamping it twice is really good and you can compare what the second one looks like. So, um, but this one is good. It's just going to pin down um, your ink pad. But you, look how cool that is, how you can see the stitching. That is just such a fun look. And these do have thinlets, but since I'm not using them, I thought this was easy enough to just fussy cut. And I didn't totally get all these finished, what I'm going to do. But somehow I'm going to add this one. I'm sorry, but I could He find could it. not find the seafoam. There's okay. a lot of colors out there. Okay, well, the seafoam we're going to have to wait on. Well, we could maybe get you another color. Um, oh, I could have you do the, another card and then... <laughs> 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 totally unprepared. Uh, let's let's do this one. It's usually the case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and then let's do another really easy idea. Well, I hope this isn't overkill today, but I'm, I'm having fun, so. <laughs> okay, this time we're just doing four little circles. I believe these are um, one-inch circles. And I am going to put these across the bottom. You know, when you just do a bunch of circles, you can, you just have a lot of, um, you know, you might want yours more in a straight line than mine, but you can do so much with circles. And with this, I'm just going to put a glue dot on, on the little butterfly, which I cut out with a punch in the paper. This is the small size one. And I'm just going to put that in the middle there so it kind of blurs up like that. And now you could put words right across here or across the bottom. But um, again, just a fun idea. I, I will straighten this for the picture. I, I, I'm a little fussier about the pictures that go on. But, you know, you're watching the real process here. And then here's another one. And then it is just that last one. So um, I'm, I'm going to... I'm up to 20, so you might be doing 21. Oh, so maybe we don't even need the other one. No, we do. Okay, we do. I haven't done anything yet with this other one, but I wanted to add one more. So I did the little spring set that has the, and I don't see that right here either, but it has the, it has this little squirrel for Hollow Spring, and it's got the bunnies and the ducks. So I thought it was so cute. So I, you know, using the idea of circles again, almost, and so this one isn't finished, but it will be. But this is my idea. But I'm just going to use some different circles. And I use the Blushing Bride again because it kind of went with this color. And I know he's wearing a little sailor suit. But you know what? It can change for the occasion. And I'm just going to do something playing with circles. Okay. And the last card, I'm not going to be able to show you, but I am just going to show you because it'll go in my blog tomorrow. I just wanted to show the technique. We're going to use Coastal Cabana, Karen. Um, okay, we're using Coastal Cabana. Okay, that'll work. And... I kind of figured it would. Okay, and I'm going to ink this up. So now we are back to Incredible Like You. 
And I am going to stamp it once. I'm just gonna keep stamping it as I go up. So this is just um, a fading away technique and I just think that makes a really cool background. And then on this, I'm going to put the So Glad We're Friends and I'm going to use these little punches, but I'm going to have to change the colors um, to do little flowers to decorate. So that's how you do uh, the last card. So, so you'll see the rest of that on my video. So thank you. And then remember, this is the cute little package that we'll be making. And this is the size that will fit all of these cute little things. I have four cards and envelopes in here. So I would love to have you join our online line retreat um, if you are interested. And I'm, I plan to post questions. It runs from Friday at 7.30 until Saturday night, although you have access forever, of course. And you get the PDFs for all 16 projects. And I'll be just asking a lot of um, questions and having people post things. So we'll just kind of be hanging out together, creating. So all fun. So I hope this was um, helpful. So thanks, and I, you know, hope you can enjoy some of these techniques. That we'll can be we'll recount when we watch the video. Karen and I love to sit down and watch the video. Yeah, right. Front to end. You'll recount <laughs> because he takes the photos after after the thing, so he'll count. He takes all yes, the photos, that's true. <laughs> so he will know. Unless we unless we've lost him. <laughs> so we'll put that up. So thanks, you guys, for this sticking with us for this extra long video. Let me know. Um, and Ramona, yes, Saturday stamp class is at my church uh, this Saturday. Just not my church, but the church I rent. So message me about that. And message me if you're interested in either ordering the card packs for that, the online thing, the $99 starter kit, and you get some of this other stuff free. I mean, really, it's an awesome deal. But we so appreciate you guys. So everyone have a wonderful weekend. We do. And we will see you on Monday. And this was a whole hour. This is really good. That's a first. That's a record. We've never it done is. this long. <laughs> and right after this, now I do um, a Facebook Live with my downline. So I'll just go right into that from here. So some of you, I'll continue seeing. But thanks to all of you. Bye. Bye.